Once the most powerful man in Egypt, former President Hosni Mubarak is now the country's most high-profile criminal defendant. Mubarak and his two sons, Gamal and Ala, and his close business confidant, Hassan Salim, have all been ordered to stand trial for their involvement in the killing of protesters during Egypt's revolution. The prosecution says the men conspired with the former Minister of Interior and senior security officials to use deadly force to suppress the uprising. The four also face charges of illegal profiteering, abuse of state power and funds, and accepting bribes in exchange for political and financial favors. Since Mubarak was forced out of power in February, protesters have held public demonstrations, demanding that he and former regime officials face justice for their actions. They wore us down these past 30 years and it was because of them that our lives have become so difficult. So they deserve what's coming for them. The law is the law. They must stand trial. But the trial of Mubarak must be dealt with respectfully because at the end of the day, what's happening now will go down in history and we have our own pride. Since the ousting of former President Hosni Mubarak, the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces has vowed to bring to justice anyone who was allegedly involved in the killing of protesters. Now, with the general prosecutor referring the former president and his sons to trial, there's no doubt that the protesters and Egyptians will feel they have accomplished one more task in their revolution. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Cairo.